if you've ever been to Seattle, you, you'll know right away. They've got a homeless problem. It, I don't know what it is, but it's a bad problem right now. And the city council came up with an idea. And in fact, they could cement it in the next hour. Let's just charge companies a surtax to help deal with it. The problem is this surtax uh, for every employee up to $500, maybe more, uh, this will provide the funds we're going to have to deal with this. So lo and behold, among those targets is Amazon, perhaps the city's biggest employer. And Amazon is fighting fire and fire. Are you nuts? We're your biggest employer and you're zooming us like this? Hillary Vaughn in Seattle on this high stakes battle of wills, I guess. Hillary. Hi, Neil. Well, a lot of these people lined up here today are in support of this head tax, and I talked to several of them, and they tell me that this tax would be fair because they blame the city's biggest job creators for poverty and homelessness in their hometown. Big business existing is not incidental to impoverishment in our city and in our culture. It's the cause of it. Corporations are paying a lower tax now than at any time in history, so I don't think I would call it punishment. Business as usual means death as usual. If they can't pay, who can? Now, supporters of this extra tax say the money would be used to build affordable housing. City officials say 600 businesses would pay this tax, and the plan would bring $75 million in additional tax revenue to the city. But some companies that call Seattle home are pushing back hard on the proposal. Starbucks, Alaska Airlines, Expedia joined 100 other companies, including small businesses, in an open letter to the mayor saying, in part, quote, we oppose this approach because of the message it sends to every business. If you are investing in growth, if you create too many jobs in Seattle, you will be punished. Now, critics of this idea say throwing money at the problem doesn't solve anything because Seattle is not a tax poor city to begin with. Starbucks said that programs that they have for the homeless should be reformed instead of investing more money up front. And then you also have Amazon who has suspended construction on a big build project here in downtown Seattle. They say they're waiting to see what happens within the hour here today as the city council decides whether or not to go through with this head tax. The problem is that's putting 7,000 jobs on hold, Neil. And depending on what's decided here today, they may decide not to bring those 7,000 jobs here because they're going to pay for every person that they hire here in Seattle. Neil. All right, Hillary Vaughn. Some of them even threatening to leave altogether from the city. Let's get the read on all of this with Melissa Armo, the stock swoosh. She's our stock market expert. We've also got Michael Parrish Dell, the entrepreneur and author, best-selling author at that. Also a multiple best-selling author, my friend Charlie Gasparino. Two. All right. Um, <laughs> two, not multiple. Two. That's, That's couple. more than Get one. it right, Neil. Get it right. <laughs> I'm complimenting the guy <laughs> intentionally. All right. Very specific on the best selling. You believe this? Uh, we're guy. having a battle of the best selling numbers. You don't realize these You're idiots. Right. These idiots like hold you to everything you said. That is my guys. All right. So, uh, <laughs> Melissa, I'm looking at this. I'm saying, if if ever there is an engraved invitation to chase a company out for whatever meritorious reasons, this is it. It's very anti-business. I'm not sure why they're doing it. I will say one thing. Washington, in Washington state, there's no state corporate income tax, and there's no individual state tax. Like in, in Florida, there's no individual state mm. tax. So that's probably one of the reasons Amazon set up their headquarters there in the first place. However, this isn't good. It's like saying, don't come here. Come, you know, it just doesn't make any sense. And the problem is it sets a precedent. Say they pass it, which I think they're going to pass it. We're going to find out in the next it's hour. A very liberal city. Then other cities could do it too. They have a problem with funding their budgets. They can just pass and slap a tax on all these big businesses. And the argument that was raised is that they've, you know, the corporate tax has been cut. These guys are making money hand over fist. Certainly Amazon is, um, and that they can afford it. But to her point, that you be careful what you wish for because other clauses, cities come up. That's exactly right. And we've seen this across other cities. It just simply doesn't work. They had it in Chicago, uh, and that was passed, and then uh, it didn't work. It was a job killer. Same thing happened in Seattle. A surtax on companies to deal with a the head same tax. Thing? Yeah, okay. actually, Seattle even had this, and they cut it back in 2009. Back then, it was $25 per head. Now, what they're proposing is up to $500 per head. That's 22 times higher. That tells companies, hey, don't come here. No growth is going to happen. I'm, I'm against this. All right, these are some of the protesters gathering in Seattle. Uh, they're trying to get their hands on a Gasparino book while they're at it. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
<laughs> what, what, on paperback. What do you make of this? It's a slippery slope. Um, well, it's, it's the, the sort of dy- the, the, the cultural dynamics interesting because you have these very liberal companies, and Jeff Bezos runs the Washington Post. You know, he's at war with President Tr- Tr- or Trump's at war with him because of the Washington Post is so left wing, and it and it, 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 it its editorial positions reflect, I believe, Bezos' own opinions. He's he's pretty progressive, mm. uh, but he's also a CEO, so he is. Fiduciary responsibility is not to make the world a better place. It's to the shareholder. So the minute something like this happens, if this is going to cost him more than, say, to open up a, a, his headquarters in Texas, he might have to make that move to Austin, Texas, or someplace like that, where they don't hit you with this. And, um, you know, that's the sort of interesting thing. Watching Tim Cook, watching um, uh, uh, Bezos, watching all these very progressive tech leaders uh, when they're confronted with the fact that progressive liberalism will hurt their bottom line, force them to lay people off, and hurt their shareholders, they have they have a legal responsibility to the shareholders. So I, you know, I don't see that helping. Even if this were to pass, to your point, that this would 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 you know not be copied elsewhere. Then and but companies can always move. <laughs> and to Charlie's point, they have moved out yeah. of high tax locales to more friendly environments. I mean, what's to stop companies from doing that? Nothing. And here's the thing. What, why do we add a 3.9% unemployment rate and we have so many homeless people and the problem's growing? Actually, New York City is the worst. It's the worst country. Why well, California is really bad. There's 11,000 homeless not people economic. in Seattle. That's not, but but is, I'm it, saying, it, it, this isn't going to solve the, the problem. The city government or state has failed in, in addressing it's, it's, that. Why leave the it's burden It's not going to solve companies. the problem. And also, yeah. this isn't a flat tax. It's only a flat tax for three years. Well, then it's going to be have, we, have how much they we have homelessness in, in larger spots. Larger respects because we deinstitutionalize people so so much. It's 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 we but don't have compulsory. Well, we have to remember this is only going to affect. Let me just make sure. 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 They don't have they don't have they don't have to compulsory go into a mental institution. And certain cities are magnets. Because but is they, that on the companies to fix? No, I don't it's, think so. no, it's not. It's up to the city. The city has to be more efficient. We see that this simply doesn't work. There's already going to be a 0.7 percent payroll tax that rolls out in 2021. This is only affecting right. 600 businesses. That's three percent of the businesses in this city. They should not do this. They should not do it. And guys, uh, Amazon has already indicated these additional 7,000 positions we wanted to fill and expand for. uh, So that's on hold. Oh, God. We'll see what happens to this decision. We'll have more to this.